Salutations everyone, welcome to the shitty sessions of in the studio with me, Fujio. And today I'd like to introduce to you my new song called Mantra that has been released on my YouTube channel a few days ago. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first things first, I'm gonna demonstrate to you this ambiance little thingy on the intro. Let's take a listen. Man, that's a lot of reverb. I assume that most of you guys, producers out there, are watching this video right now. Uh, you should have noticed that I'm using an Ableton default grand piano here, uh, which is specifically has two layers. The one is the baritone, which is has uh, fundamental frequencies, and the other one is the tenor. Well, I bet you can tell the differences already. Let me show you. These have a way higher note than the one that we had before. So we're moving to the atmosphere plug. So, I managed to pull up some catchy presets from my library. This was like, I don't know, old Nintendo games <laughs> kind of feel like it is. And this preset over here is not actually supposed to get way much reverb. And I'm gonna show you. This is how it actually sounds like without the reverb on it. And it's getting much better clarity, but less dramatic vibes. So you can even play with the slides since it's really fun to do. For some reason. <laughs> oh no, it's getting too much fun! Anyway, let's just get back to the business here. Need to stop messing around. And I feel like, why don't we just try to put some reverb on it? Who knows, like, in the end... Oh, psychos! And just in case some of you guys are trying to figure it out, you know what, then let me show you how it works. So we're going to need this. Well, I personally use this plugin the most for all-in-one reverb stuff because I feel like it's always been so much easier for me to use instead of, you know, any other reverb stocks plugins in the software. Because, you know, there's an all-in-one mix knobs and the decays, which is always comes in handy as you can see. It's just work almost the same way as the dry and wet switch on the most reverb plugins out there. So I really recommend you if you want that uh, atmospheric kind of vibes to your song, this is really game-changing. Kind of reminds me of Hans Zimmer. We also have this really simple snaps over here. And all I did down there was just, you know, adjusting the mix and increasing the delay. Uh, sorry, decay for a little bit. Well, just in case, I want to fill up the empty space around the intro. So, coming all together. Next up, we also have that vocal risers over here, guys. Let me show you. You know what? It sounds like a freaking horror movie it's from late 2000s. Behold the power of the anime. If I ever have any chance to become the major antagonist in the anime, this will be my theme song. So we have the Valhalla room and the OTT. All you need to do, wrap them up in one piece and you're ready to go. So this one was the silent patch. I was like messing around with the preset. But it also turns out to be that I just made a really nice arpeggio sound out of it and I was just like, Bro, this is unexpectedly good. Okay, let me tell you the difference. Okay, so that's the difference between the first part, which is the FX version, and also the second part, which is the non-FX version. The non-FX doesn't really have all of these plugins linked into the same channel rack, that's why it's called non-FX. So if you guys are ever thinking about how do I make an ambiance, how do I add an atmosphere, well the answer is simple. You just need reverb, delay, and a filter with low frequencies and high resonance, that's all, and poof, you're ready to go. And here comes the melody.
Okay, so long story short, what I actually did on this part was actually just messing up with the OTC just in case I don't want to make it like way a little bit more stronger or add some more clarity, add some more presence, add some more tensions to it. But in the end, I was thinking like, what if I add some more reverb on it and it's really working really well both together. So if you turn off the reverb, well, not as good as I expected. So that's just how important a reverb is. Okay, so now take a look at this lips over here. So here's how the build-up sounds like. So I'm gonna show you how the plug sounds like. Here's the first layer. Here's the second layer. And here's the main plug. I think I'm fell in love with this one. And here's the uh, exact same plug as we had before. And then we have a super saw. And a brass horn. It actually sounds great with the Valhalla room, let me show you. but now way too much. Last but not least, we also have the egg dough egg. I'm gonna add some sausage fattener, OTT, camel crusher, maybe add some more pitch bend to make it sounds way even more fancy. I almost forget about this one. Okay, that's it. <laughs> the last one is going to be the drum. Let's take a listen. So we have the kick. And the snares. And more snares. So now for the final result.